So, in life, we're continually asked to uh, simplify our, algeb our algebraic fractions, but sometimes we think we can, sometimes we think we can't, and sometimes we don't know if we can or can't. So, say so for example, we've got this one here, ay over y. In this case, both the y's can cancel each other out. So, in this case, we end up with just a. Okay, whereas in the next one we've got a plus y over y. So, we naturally think, okay, fine, I'll just cancel out the two y's. No, you can't do anything with this here. The reason you can't do anything with this is for this y to be able to cancel out that y, there also has to be another y in that term there, in the a. So, we cannot do anything with that. So, we finish off with that. However, in this case here, this y here in the denominator can actually cancel out both the y's in the numerator here. So this y can cancel out both of these here. So we're going to finish off with, in this case, a plus b. Okay, similarly over here, again, this y will be able to cancel out both of these here. So we end up with a plus b in the denominator. What goes in the numerator in the empty space? We put a 1 there. We never leave the numerator empty. In this case here, I'm tempted. I say, oh, 3. Can that 3 do anything with that 6? No, we cannot do anything because ultimately we have to pick a number um, which is a factor of 3, 6 and 4. Um, so we can't do anything with that. Likewise, here I want to I want to cancel out these two a's, but for these two a's to cancel out, I need an a in that t in that term there. I want to cancel out these two b's, but I need a b in that term there. So ultimately, there's not actually anything you can do with this. So we just leave this one as it is. You physically cannot do anything with this algebraic fraction. However, in this case here, look, that a. Can, uh, can cancel out that A and that A. Perfect. And now do we finish? No, because now I can see there's a number that goes into 6, 12 and 18. 6 goes into 6 once. 6 goes into 12 twice. 6 goes into 18 three times. So all we now end up with is B over 2Y plus 3. Okay, now, can this A cancel out all those A's there? No, because this is a different question. This is a different type of question. In this case, we're multiplying all the A's across. So here, that A can only cancel out that A there. So this answer here is going to give us A squared Y, or A times A times Y. Can this x cancel out that x? No, this is x plus 1. This is x plus 2. They physically are different terms. We cannot cancel anything with this one here. This one here, 3x plus 3. And this one, 4 plus 4x. We're tempted that we cannot do anything with this. But if we factorise, this is going to give us 3x plus 1. And this one, if I rearrange these two, this is going to give me 4. So I'll put this first, this second, x plus 1. Perfect. I see that these two can cancel each other out. So my final answer to this question is simplifies to 3 over 4. Thank you.